There we go. Got him. Got it, Mission! Oh yeah, that one's a good one. This one's lunch for sure for me. Yes, buddy, yes! Perfect lunch size. That is exactly what we're after today, boys and girls. Woo! Welcome back to the channel. Today I got special guest Beetle Bill with me. He's my good luck charm. Hoping he good lucking us into no wind at the lake we're headed to. Last year, if you're a long time subscriber, we've been we went to this lake once and it was like 35 mile hour winds. Ended up doing a pretty good day though. Today we're gonna do a catch and cook. I'm gonna treat Bill to some bacon stuffed trout with mac and cheese. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. This ain't too bad of a hike. It's just, you'll see. You'll see when we hit the cliff. You're like, all right, Lance, okay. I get it. Oh, Velveeta. Velveeta mac and cheese, boy. Dope. Yeah, dude. There you go. <laughs> I like it. That's what I'll tell them. A lot of times they need a bird. Like, it's, otherwise, it's just carving in the air. That makes sense. update we're about three quarters of the way there and it's been pretty easy hike up until now but this is where the hard part starts so we're at like a 25% grade now and as soon as we get past right about there where my fingers pointing you can see it's a cliff and that's where we hit about 50% grade here's where we just came up not an easy one we're gonna wreck today All along this shore. It is so clear. It's insanely clear. Insane. Yeah. And we're synced. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Right here, I smacked them last year, right at this spot, right on this rock. First time I ever fished it was last year, so. <laughs> Excited to be back. First cast, here he goes, Beetle Bill. He's up. Let's go, Bill. You want them to sink for a little while, eh? Ah, uh, you can do whatever you want. I would just, honestly, the first ones, I would just five seconds, maybe tops. And then I would, uh, I would start my retrieve. They should be, with that cold finally setting in, they should be nice and aggressive, ready for winter. That's what we're going for. Hungry, hungry trouts. Follow? Nothing? Oh, there was a bite. Here he comes. Oh, decent one. That was lunch. That was lunch. Second cast. I'm following it right now. Come on. And I'm walking over to this rock over here. Give Beetle Bill a little space where he's at. And uh, a shelf where it gets kind of super shallow and then it gets deep again. I did do pretty good casting way out in the water last year right off of this rock. So. We're gonna do that. See how I think we can't get some lunch. This is my rock right here. Just gonna hop out there. Right off of the shelf. Hopefully we can get a few takers.
Oh, there's a bite. There we go. Got him. Got it. Fish on. Fish on, boys. Oh, yeah, that one's a good one. That one's lunch. This one's lunch for sure for me. Yes, buddy, yes! Smacked him. We did it, boys, we did it. We did it. Beautiful Colorado cutthroat for lunch. We got a cock, we got a cock. Ladies and gents. You got one? Perfect lunch size. That is exactly what we're after today, boys and girls. Woo! Woo! That's cold. Holy cow, that water's cold. Yeah, come over here, bud. I caught that one right off this shelf, you know? Perfect ear. Nice big cock. Woo, this water I bet is 40 degrees. Tops. Hot dang, I'm gonna have to go get some pants, I think. At first he bit and then he followed. And then right when it started coming up over the top of that shelf, he smacked it. Pretty good little fight. You can have this rock if you want, Bill. I'm gonna go put some pants on. There. Now don't don't come back, Wind. Just leave just leave us alone. Leave us alone for the day. We don't need you, Wind. Now I'm cozy. All right, everybody, I apologize for the wind, but it's kind of what we got to battle with today. Again, kind of windy at this lake. It's still super chilly. It's like September 20th. Soon this ice, this lake will be iced up. These fish are ready to eat. Another fish falling it. Nah, I wouldn't take it. By the way, have I showed you what we're fishing with today? Today we are fishing with, we're starting out with a Joe's fly spinner. I don't have the trailer on it. It kind of makes it a little bit more fair game, so it's just a fly off the back of it. Kind of a natural color one. And uh, a little bit more fair game chase that way. There's one, yep, got him. Watch to meet it. Fish! That was a cool fight. That was a cool bite. It's awesome, isn't it? Ooh, good fighter. Really good fighter. Yep. And which is all the difference for them, that shelf, huh? Beautiful little cutty. Nice. Yep. You want me to keep this one for lunch? Huh? Yeah, I'll keep this one and then we're then we're all set for lunch, okay? Oh, they're delicious. Alright. Looks like we've got lunch, boys and girls. We got lunch. That's what we're at today, Colorado River Cutthroat. Little catch and cook, this is Bill's lunch. We just gotta, I kept it because, you know, Bill's he's having a little bit of a struggle fest. The guide over here, gotta make sure we have some food for lunch. Let's go, boys. Let's go, boys.
I don't know if you can see this, but the water <coughs> drastically changes color. So there's a shelf, and this is kind of where that reef starts forking into the water. Frankly, I'll be shocked if we get a fish in this. Okay. No wind. Cast way out there, which is awesome. It's kind of our, ooh, ooh, that looks like a big fish. I can't tell if I'm seeing fish or if I'm seeing like old plane parts or something, because there's an old plane wreck up here. Probably getting close to lunchtime. 11:54. Show is. Right about here, guys. This looks pretty cozy. That looks super cozy. That actually looks the coziest right there. Okay, so the first thing we gotta do here, got our two fish, and we need to gut them. So, let me get them off the stringer. This is probably, I don't know, a 14 inch fish. It's a little bit longer than my shoe. I'm gonna show you guys how to actually clean them. I'm actually surprised a lot of people don't know how to clean a trout. It's super simple, it's super easy. Maybe you don't, because you didn't have a dad. I'll be your dad. So, welcome to dadding with Lance. So the first thing I do is I cut a slit right down to its anus down there. And you notice how I didn't start right at the top here because starting at the top here would be super hard. It's easier to actually then reverse your knife and pull it through like that, okay? Then what we wanna do is we're gonna pull it apart here like this. You wanna get your finger right between the gill, right there, okay? When you're through the gills like that a little bit, then you can start pulling them away, sort of grab, trying to grab them all in one piece and uh, pull them away from the body. And then most of the entrails will come out like that. You can dispose of the entrails, pull the rest out. And the last thing before we actually prep it for cooking is we gotta get rid of the kidneys in the back here. So I'm just gonna run my fingernail right up against the spine like that. Kind of back a couple times like this. I'm gonna rinse it off. And that's about as clean as you gotta get it. Just like that. So that's one. And then just as a repeat, we'll do this one. So same thing here. I'm just kind of holding it like that. So I'm getting my grip. I'm gonna poke right below its neck right there. Run my knife right to the butt. You notice I'm using a carpenter's knife, the razor blade works just fine. Don't need a big knife. Reverse my knife. And then here's the tricky part, right? Every time. It's like, how do I get my finger right between those gills so I can pull it away from the body, okay? And if I've got one side, I can just usually get the rest like that. Super simple. This is a male. We basically got two cocks out of here, which is cool. That's his uh, semen sack. And then again, I'm gonna get the kidneys. I just run my finger up like that. And it gets pretty clean on the first try, and then you just gotta kinda scrub it out a little bit more here. And oh, as much as you can get out of there. I'll show you what's acceptable for me if I'm doing a catch and cook or any kind of clean like that. Yeah, that's pretty clean, nice light pink meat, it's gonna be delicious. I've got a nice level surface to work on today, which is not usual when we're doing catch and cooks. So we've got this awesome rock, basically I found that's super flat. So next thing I do is then I take my fillet knife here and I kind of cut it at an angle, sort of angled with their head like that, right behind this front fin. And then we'll get rid of this in a bit here. Put that back in the lake. Then I flip it around. And another cut right behind those two sets of fins. 
get rid of the tail, get rid of the head, and then we're left with this nice slab of meat. So this slab is a little bit too big for this overall pan. So then what I like to do, and this is about a 15 inch, I measured these fish right before I started, right before I started cleaning them. The one I cut, I'm cutting up right now was about 15 inches. And I'm just using a little Stanley camping pan. And by cutting them in half like this, then then after that, then I it'll, it'll allow it to fit in the pan and then I'll just make a slit right here. Careful not to cut through the spine. Another one right here. So I make two of them and the third. And then I reverse my knife like that on that second cut, just so I cut through the ribs. And then this is kind of what we're looking for. That's where we're gonna stuff our bacon. So I'll make another one right here. And then you see how I didn't cut all the way through right there like that? It's kind of like you know, I was cutting and I was gutting. Again, be careful not to cut through the spine. We need that spine to actually hold together while we're cooking the fish, otherwise the fish will just completely fall apart. And then that's what we're left with. And there's the meat. So I've got that one cut. I'm gonna do this one next. When you get down to this fin right here, just cut halfway through and that's it. Because that second cut you really need when you have access to the stomach cavity. Flip it around, cut here and here. Another one back there. And this one's all ready for bacon. I'll show you guys one more time. So right behind this fin, at an angle, all the way down till we basically cut the whole head off, throw the head, flip it around, cut the tail off, throw the tail. Again, this one's too big. This one's like the 13 inch one, but even that one's just too big for that pan, I feel like. Cut all the way in half here. And then my slits again. So now all our trout is ready. The next thing I gotta get going is my bacon. I'm gonna cook all the bacon today because we did also bring Velveeta shells and cheese. We're gonna cook all the bacon all at once, about three quarters of the way through to where it's not totally crispy. Like it definitely be edible when you take it off, but just not totally crispy. That's what I would consider three quarters of the way through. For that little pan, what I like to do is cut this in half, set that aside. And then we're going to get a little gas one stove going. Make sure we're nice and tight there. Looks like we're mostly level. I haven't even checked actually if this rock is like perfectly level or not. It's pretty close. <clears throat> I think we're going to roll with it. And we're live. It's pretty level. So yeah, welcome to Cooking with Lance. We're back. I've been saying we're back. We're officially back, boys. And once again, I totally forgot to bring a spatula, so I'm going to be stirring these with a knife. I'm gonna layer all these in there, cook them up. Let's go. Now that we've got a gat going, we'll probably get our other burner going over here. What we're going to be doing is just boiling a couple cups of water for our shells and cheese. They look pretty. This one was 15. That's big for an alpine lake. Yeah? Yeah. You caught two today? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, because it's. Two trout? Yeah. I thought you caught a sunny and a trout. <laughs> you caught two trout and a sunny. <laughs> two trout. Wouldn't that be funny if there were sunnies in here? That's what I, if you're like, I caught a sunny. And I was like, nah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so you got two of them, huh? Yep. So how big were they? No, I said I think I think I, what, I, what I was saying was I caught on sight fishing. Yeah, something like that. Some 
stuffing on. Stuff these old trouty boys. With some bacons. Use the whole pack. Cool. Perfect. They're all stuffed. Ready for the pan, boys. Those babies are going to cook for put them in it's 111 we're gonna cook four minutes on this side so 115 flip them and those are done these can drain put our cheese in more minutes on this side. You can see how it's yeah, a few more minutes. It's about halfway through on the lower side. Alright, time to flip. Time to flip and flip. Alright, 119. First batch is done. First batch is done, Bill. Here's your mac and cheese. Let me just grab put these two on real quick. Get them out of the way. Right on, dude. It looks awesome, doesn't it? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> now I have room for some mac and cheese. Yeah man. You're welcome. Okay, then it was even better for sure. <laughs> the whole time. The whole time. A little Mountain Dew, you know? Mountain Dew. We got the straw, huh? Yep. It was delicious, bud. I'm gonna have a little more after this mac and cheese. <laughs> 